And welcome back. Well, if you've made a New Year's resolution to get your finances in order, then you're in luck because today we're going to help you get organized, reduce your debt, and create a savings plan. Yeah, Rachel Schwab is with the Equito Bank, and she is here to tell us more about that. It's so nice to have you. Great time, like we said, to be thinking about getting organized and getting some things kind of straight and in order. Um, so let's run through the things that you're going to talk through today, and then okay. we can kind of break them down. Starting with getting organized and keeping track of our mm -hmm. finances, that's going to be number one. You're going to help us. Uh, you're going to talk to us about reducing your debt, refinancing your home, which you say mm -hmm. is a key component of this. Have a savings plan, and then meet with a financial planner because I think things can be really confusing. Whether you're getting close to retirement, you want to put kids through college, or you just want to maximize your saving potential. So starting with getting organized. Well, getting organized is obviously the first step. Um, if you have a plan, you want to get somewhere. If you don't know where you are right now, it's really hard to to uh, judge how you're going to get there. Um, get a plan, um, get organized. There's a zillion different um, online tools that you can use like uh, mint.com, Quicken, um, but if you don't want to use online tools, you can always you know, go to an office supply store and get all the, the tools you need to get organized. Know what your debt is. Um, know how much income you're taking in each month. Um, and, and know um, what your financial picture looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm always shocked when someone doesn't even just keep a bank book. You know what I mean? I, I yeah. know people who don't, they really mm -hmm. have no clue what's in their, their bank account. It's not that they have exorbitant amounts of money, it's just no. that they don't keep track. Yeah, I think far too often people um, don't really pay attention to what they're spending mm -hmm. and where they're spending it. Um, and it can be a very eye-opening experience when you start to really get organized and track that. Absolutely. What's the best way that people can go about reducing debt? Well, there's a lot of things you want to do once you get organized. Look at your debt, and you want to look at um, your balances on your high-rate credit cards. That should be your first order of business, is paying down um, debt with high interest rates. Um, it is really important, especially today. You know, um, things are getting better uh, in the marketplace and in the economy, but there are still some uncertain times, and, and people need to really be smart about um, carrying debt. Mm -hmm. If you're just paying minimums and that's all you can afford, is there any other way to help kind of chip quickly away at debt? Um, you know, you want to start with your high interest credit cards mm -hmm. and start paying as much as you can on those. Um, you, if you meet, we'll talk about that on the last tip, but when you meet with a financial expert, they can help you um, determine what your best step is based on your individual situation. Kind of prioritize it, exactly. which I think is huge. Yep. Um, the other thing is refinancing your home, and we wanted to take a second to talk about this. First of all, rates are still staggeringly mm -hmm. low. Oh, I, so if you haven't refi if you're in the fives and the sixes or whatever, even in the fours, yeah, you still should refinance. Absolutely. Um, your house is probably the biggest investment you'll ever make, and it's it's the biggest chunk of money that you have going out every month, uh, more likely uh, than anything else. And you want to make sure that you have the right rate. Even if you refinance within the last couple of years, there's a strong possibility that you could get a lower rate. Yesterday's 15-year rate was um, 2.625. Yeah, I mean, this is yeah. going to be like free money. Yeah. I know. You well, know? And, you know, and if you're not ready for a 15-year, um, the 30 has been in the low threes for a while now. Um, so it's something that you can make a huge impact on your bottom line and really quickly. Mm -hmm. And what's the, what is the margin? If, if, it's, if you could go down half a point or more, or what, what's the cutoff where it makes sense, generally speaking, to refinance? Well, you know, the rule of thumb for a long time has been around one point. Um, mm -hmm. But it really depends on the um, amount of your mortgage, um, what the rate was that you had. It, it really, there's a lot of variables. That's why you want to talk to a mortgage loan expert because they'll be able to tell you if it's worth your um, time and effort to refinance. Um, but we are seeing so many people each and every day refinance and reduce their debt. Some people are going from a 30-year mortgage, they're reducing their rate, and they're going to a, a shorter term so they're being able to pay off their home that much quicker, which obviously is great, makes great financial sense. It's yeah. the American dream yeah. to own mm -hmm. that home. How about a savings plan? Well, you know, here's a New Year's resolution that everyone, I'm going to save, I'm going to save. Um, and far too often, you know, we think, well, I'll go and I'll transfer that money every month or I'll go and do this. What you need to do is get a disciplined savings plan that is automatic. Set mm. up something um, with your bank that automatically, or your employer that takes the money right out of your check, um, or with your bank that transfers it from your checking to your savings automatically. 
you won't miss it then. No, it hurts like the first month, yeah, right? Yeah. And then, and yeah. then, and then and all of a sudden you're, you're, you're just good. like, okay, right? You, you don't because whatever you, for, you have forget. in your account, right? You're just gonna spend. Yeah. But if you if you discipline yourself to automatically have that money taken out and moved into a savings. You don't miss it, and boy, you'd be surprised at the end of the year at how much you've saved. Mm -hmm. I think the key is meeting with an expert, because some yeah. of this can be very um, <laughs> complicated, especially depending on your age and what your goals are. Um, so meeting mm -hmm. with an expert can help you set those goals as well as achieving them. So we're going to give you the information so that you can get in touch with the experts at The Equitable Bank. They are on Facebook and Twitter. You can call this number, 414-777-4411, or visit them online. It's TheEquitableBank.com. Always nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for so having much. me.